Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. Today I would like to talk about Daffenbachia species, commonly known as Dumpkin plant. Uh, if you are new here for the first time, my name is James David and I'm a plant enthusiast who loves gardening and uh, today I would like to give a few tips and pointers on how I grow and cultivate this particular plant. Basically, this is my Daffenbecker collection, which I managed to cultivate uh, over some period of time. And I would like to showcase to you some of the varieties that I have it here. Some of it is very easy and hardy and uh, are e very well e able to grow in every single condition. And some are quite sensitive and uh, easy to get rot and often succumb to pest attack. And today I would like to talk a little bit about this particular plant topic and just want to cover some uh, basic grounds on it. Uh, easily this particular plant uh, would love to receive some uh, indirect bright light and I find that uh, if it's exposed too much to hot direct sunlight they tend to burn their leaves and uh, and this is the ideal light that they receive more on uh, reflected light I also find that they don't do very well in heavy shaded areas so reflected uh, bright light uh, bright shaded light actually will, will do very well in uh, for this particular kind of condition the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Daffenbachia is that they are very infamous and unpopular due for the toxic uh, problems that they actually cause and yes this is true uh, they they do have uh, some toxicity where uh, when if it's accidentally consumed or eaten when the, this leaf were, were bitten or eaten so it's very important to place them where they are not uh, uh, consumed also not to grow together with crop plants or any other vegetables together with them because they are highly toxic However, the, the snails and slugs seems not to be deterred by their toxicity. As you can see here, that you can see the, uh, the holes on this leaf are actually caused by snails and slugs. And so therefore, uh, checking on the leaves is uh, important to make sure that there is no damage occurs. Normally, they will actually attack the young unfurled leaf uh, buds that occurs at the center crown. Normally, I use a snail bait to control the popular the snail and slug population, just to make sure to minimize the damage. Over here is a collection of all my dumpkin plants that actually grow uh, individually. I place them because I would like to have a, a, a variety of colors in one pot. This is a very common one. It actually has spots on it. Uh, often, these particular ones, I actually as find them uh, uh, cut and thrown away because uh, they actually grow very big and fast and therefore a lot of people prune and throw them away. So, most of my collection is basically collected from uh, thrown away collections. This particular one is considered rare, Proto Rico. I have not found it in any other nursery that are actually selling it. Uh, also a uh, few others which I find and particularly uh, this these colorizations which I actually uh, would like to cultivate of course there are so many the uh, Daffenbachias there out there and most of them don't even have an official name uh, if you can notice that I've actually placed some of it I am not 100% sure that, that they are actually uh, uh, accurate names because I find that some of the names are actually placed by the plant vendors who are selling it online. Okay, here I, be, I would like to make a comparison between an aglonema species and a dumpkin species. And what I want to show to you here is that one of the main characteristics is actually the stem, the stock uh, growth factor. If you look at it, the aglomenema species will have a colorization which is more of a light green or light white whereas the dumpkin have a more of a stock stem kind of standing structure 
and dumpkin uh, sorry and uh, aglonema normally do not grow big and tall whereas uh, dump deafen backyard normally grows big and the leaf structure is bigger and more wider and this is one of the factors that you can see where deafen backyards normally do not be uh, in any red colors whereas uh, uh, aglonema will have more colorization and more interesting factors all right this one is uh, a compact type they will not grow very big and uh, this is the biggest you can get but it will be bushy so there is also a lot of varieties and variations to the size of the plant so there is no hard and fast rule of saying that they have to be in this structure sometimes they can be very big and some of it is in a miniature factor so uh, that is the uh, specialty of this particular plant the varieties uh, i am actually growing it because i love the colorization about it and they are a very hardy plant and i don't have to worry about it except for some pest attack on the snails and slug which i actually have time to time which i use a snail bait to control the damage but other than that uh, it is far more easier to grow and it's easy to cultivate again i said uh, if you do not have any problems with children or pets uh, sorry pets that actually uh, chew on them or that kind of thing uh, then i would i would totally recommend it for you to actually grow this because uh, they are actually a very beautiful plant and quite robust and carefree so you don't really have to worry much about it There are so many variations of colors and patterns and and uh, color color colorizations of this particular type. Even the tones, I uh, I actually have not gone hunting and collecting because some of the newer versions are slightly expensive, and the plant can be exp uh, and sensitive. So I'm just cultivating based on what I can get my hands on, exchanging with other gardeners. and friends who actually have this particular plant and so therefore this is just more for filling up the space in my garden where i would like to have colors and structure in in, in this uh, uh places and space where uh, most plants are actually challenging to grow and i find that uh, this particular one the dumpkin the deafen gibbeckia species do fall in the category where the lighting they just thrive very much in minimal light and uh, in most occasion uh, they are quite able to handle and and able to stand in many conditions over here you can see the structure of the dumpkin i'm just actually showing to you how tall it can actually grow i'm just keeping this particular one plant alone because i don't want to have too many big plants and so i'm just cultivating just this particular deafen backyard mary and it actually has grown very tall almost to a uh, roof uh, canopy area uh, of course they are also not strong so stock, uh, i've actually tied in some wires for support and, and i believe that they do require support when they go tall because if not they will actually fall on a Uh, fall down and then they will be a little bit more leggy a bit messy to handle so this is the portion of it where i actually keep uh, normally i do not come to this place just because uh, uh, they can cause a lot of burns okay this particular one uh all compactus actually is a bit sensitive and uh, so i am and it's actually a slow growing plant So as I said there are many varieties and uh, structure to it and so therefore I I just grow what I can grow, get my hands on. You can see there's a lot of holes on the leaves. Uh this is the damage done by snails and slug. As I mentioned earlier the uh, checking on them is very important to control and maintain the damage. I want to show to you that this particular leaf I have not pruned and taken out uh, just for the purpose of the video. This is how it would look like if you have not pruned and clean off the dry leaves and so they are they actually stick on the plant. They do not fall away. So it will be good to to use a scissors and trim off the leaves 
when they are still drying up or turning yellow just to keep the place neat and tidy and clean sometimes when there's too many leaves and uh, the structure and such and if there is an attack of this pest it was going to be very uh, unslight, uh, unsightly so it'd be good if you can uh, keep them keep them neat and tidy so uh, pruning is much more easier to be handled other than that this particular plant is very easy to grow hardy and, and robust and, and able to handle a lot of stress thank you so much for visiting I would like to hear from you again and if you have any questions do hit in the comment below I love if you can click like and subscribe my videos see you again have a nice and lovely day. Thank you. Bye.